Want to stay young? Then don't retire. Now, I know that's rather an odd thing to say, but please bear with me. I'll explain why in this video. You see, keeping your brain active is crucial to appearing younger and living longer. Now, think of your brain like a muscle. If you don't exercise it, eventually it's going to wither and die. You know, like the saying goes, use it or lose it. And so many people spend their whole lives at work and they do work that they find engaging and they do work that they find stimulating and then they retire and do nothing. They spend all day just simply staring out into space like this guy here. And they become bored, they become isolated and they feel like their lives have absolutely no purpose. So don't become one of them. And the thing is, you don't have to keep working full time. You know, getting a part time job that isn't too strenuous can get you out of the house. It can keep your brain active and it can enable you to meet new people, all of which is very important. And for example, in the UK, the B&Q chain of home improvement stores made it their policy to hire older workers. And I think the oldest guy who works for them is in his 90s. But the management found that the older people who went to work for them, and they mostly work part time, were more considerate and more conscientious than the younger people who worked there. And they also appreciated the fact that they could meet other people and that they could actually do something that was fulfilling and helpful. And so it was a win-win situation all round. Now, something else that you can do when you retire from your main occupation is to start your own business. You know, if you had a professional career, then you can become a consultant. And that's great because then you're passing your knowledge, the knowledge that you've acquired over a lifetime of working, on to the next generation. And you're helping to advise people who are perhaps just coming into the industry that you're leaving, uh, ways that they can become even more successful. So becoming a consultant is great thing to do when uh, you retire from your main business. Or you can start your own online business. And this is great. You can do something like affiliate marketing or you can sell on eBay. And of course, you can base your hours that you work around other activities in your life. Uh, because lots of people, of course, concentrate on hobbies and things like that when they've retired. Now, of course, some pension schemes, however, prohibit their pensioners from taking any paid employment. And this is particularly true of a lot of company pension schemes. They say that once you've retired, you're retired, you can't take on any other paid employment. But all is not lost, though. What you can do is volunteer work. And helping out in a charity shop, in a school or in a hospital can have all the benefits of working. You know, except the paycheck, of course. But you're still going to be active. You're still going to be meeting new people. You're still going to have some sort of purpose to your life, which can be very fulfilling and very rewarding. And of course, there are lots of people who keep working right on into their very old age. So let's take a look at some famous oldies who've kept working. And the first one is Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom and her husband, Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. Now, at the time they're making this video, they are aged 90 and 95, respectively, uh, which is pretty old to keep working. But the Queen has carried out 340 official engagements during 2015. That's the last year that the figures are available for. And that covers everything from meeting government ministers, being head of the Commonwealth, meeting the UK Prime Minister, the Commonwealth Prime Ministers, giving royal assent to legislation from the UK and from other Commonwealth countries. It also means going out and doing things in the community, meeting people, etc. 
And even if those 340 official engagements were just cutting a ribbon or unveiling a foundation stone and making a short speech and shaking hands with people, you know, at the age of 90, that's quite a lot to do, and it's practically one every day. And Prince Philip, well, he did 250 official engagements in 2015, and he's also the patron or president of some 800 organizations. Now, even if he only gives each of them one hour of his time during the year, you know, you do the math. That takes up quite a lot of his time. And this picture that we're seeing here was taken in 2010. So uh, they were aged 84 and 89, respectively. But if you look at them, and if you didn't know who these two people were, you wouldn't think they were that age, would you? You'd think they were, you know, perhaps in their 70s. And I'm sure that it's the fact that uh, they've done this day in, day out for over 60 years. The Queen came to the throne on the death of her father when she was 25 years old, and she's carried on this workload ever since. And I'm sure that is what keeps her quite young looking by comparison to her age. And I have actually personally seen the Queen and Prince Philip, albeit from a distance, and I tell you, they look just like you see them uh, on TV and in photographs. There's no uh, photoshopping gone on here. Now, Pablo Picasso, perhaps one of uh, history's most famous artists, he kept painting up to a few months before his death in 1973 at the age of 91. And indeed, they reckon that the last few years of his life were probably his most productive. And in 1967, when he was 86, he created this 50-foot-high sculpture and donated it to the people of Chicago. It's known as the Chicago Picasso. But he did this at the age of 86, which is over 20 years after the usual retirement age for most people. So he was still going even on into his 80s. Uh, at the time they're making this video, Warren Buffett known as the Sage of Omaha, is still chairman, president and CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, one of the world's largest corporations at the age of 86. And Sir Winston Churchill first became the British Prime Minister at the age of 65, and that was the retirement age in the UK at the time. So at the time when a lot of people were retiring, he was actually coming into his prime and actually occupying the top job for the first time. And he became Prime Minister again in the 1950s at the age of 79, and he only retired as a member of parliament in 1964, during the general election of 1964, at the age of 89. And that was only really because his health was declining. He'd had a stroke and uh, was in a wheelchair and uh, was in quite poor health. And his wife persuaded him that perhaps he should stand down as a member of parliament. And uh, he did. And of course, he died the following year. Coco Chanel was working on her Fashion House's spring catalogue only a few days before she fell ill and died in 1971 at the age of 87, but she was still very much in control of the Chanel brand right up to almost the very end. And of course, the Rolling Stones have a combined age of 289 years. The youngest member, Ronnie Wood, is a sprightly 69 years old, and they're still touring and making music. So the message is very clear. Just work on, not fade away. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.